Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to look at presets. When you're building you can design different versions of modules and store them as presets and this is really going to speed up your build if you've already designed your stuff beforehand like this and also it lets you change things really quickly and you can change multiple things. So let's start a new page and I'll just call it global. Use a Divi Builder obviously. And let's build from scratch. And I'm going to chuck in a row with three columns in it and let's pop a button in. Divi comes as standard with all these modules here, plenty enough to build just about any site. If you've got WooCommerce installed it'll give you a dozen more to display your products with also. So what we're going to do today with the presets will work on any module. I'm going to use a button for the time being just to demonstrate it. Okay so there's a button. Now let's do a little design on it. I'm going to align it to the middle. Let's have some custom styles for the button. Let's use the default blue for the colors there. And let's just give it a border radius or something to make it rounded. So 50. As you can see, 50 pixels to give it nice rounded corners. Well, let's save this as our preset. To do that, go up just to under the module title up there. You'll see presets default. Hit the little drop down. Create a new preset from the current styles. So I'm going to hit that button. We'll give it a name. I'll call it outline. Blue. Call it what you want. Obviously, it wants to make some sense to you. Now, I'm not going to assign it to a default. I'll do this in a little while. If you do this, every time you click on a new button module, it's going to have these styles if you put it to a default rather than the regular Divi default, which is really handy if you've got a button style that you're going to be using all the time. But I'm going to create two or three. So let's just save this. So we've got that one saved now and when you save it as a preset it'll open up a preset box which is gray rather than purple like the normal Divi edit boxes to let you know that you're in a button a preset box and you can go in you can change the styles you can do whatever you want and the great thing about this as I'll demonstrate later if you change the styles on one of your already built presets it'll change all of your buttons that you've made in that preset and like I say, I'll demonstrate that in a minute. So we're happy with that. Let's go ahead and create another one. I'm just going to hit the little clone button to create another one right here. And let's go in here. We'll change the styles up a little bit on this one. I'm going to make the text white on this one. And I'm going to make the background red. And also the border red. There we go. Were well, you happy with it? We'll save this one. All right. Now let's create a new one. I'm just using the regular button module here. And we'll make this a black square button. Again, I'm going to go to design, move this so you can see what's going on here. Text color again, I'm going to leave as white. Background, I'm going to make it black. And similar with the border. Now I'm going to save this as preset number three. There we go, we're all saved up there now. We've got three little buttons. Now every time you want to add a new button, let's add a new row. Let's add a button. And we can simply go up to our presets and decide which of the buttons we want. We'll outline blue, red button or black square. Let's pop a red button in there. 
and as you can see it's aligned it in the middle I've got two columns in this one below that's why it's offset a little bit right there let's just say this I'll make that three columns so it's aligned a little bit better there we go and let's put a, a black one in this middle space right here again go up to the presets add the presets that you want to add black square there we go obviously hadn't aligned that one in the middle okay now the great thing about this if I now go into this button or any of these buttons hit the little edit right there we're gonna hit the preset again black square there it is and right next to it you're gonna see some icons you can edit things with this one you can change the name with this one if you've done some edits you can update the preset with the styles you've done I want to just change my style here so I'm gonna use this first one here the little pencil I'm gonna to go to design I'm gonna change that button background well, I'm gonna change it to blue and as you can see it's changed any of the global presets so if you've got buttons on different pages and things it's gonna change those all to your new styles I guess we'll do the border the same way and that is a really useful feature it can really speed up your web design work and like I said you can do this with any type of module you like we've saved that now okay I'm now going to add a new button and remember this works with any module so I'm just demonstrating it with a button there's the default button style when we add a new button let's change it so our default styles the red round one perhaps so to do that let's just get rid of this one I'm going to go into our red one here. I'm going to go into the presets up here. I'm going to go to our red button. I'm going to use the little cog this time. And I'm going to assign this preset to default. Hit the yes. Save. Yes, I'm sure. It's going to remind you just in case you don't want to change your default one. That's a nice little touch confirming it for us. So I've saved all that now what I'm going to do is now I'll add a new button and you'll see it's our new styles there our preset styles so anytime we add a new button it's automatically going to pop up with that little red one there so it's a great way of arming yourself with pre-designed modules to just throw your site together real quick let's just move that button over it's annoying me I obviously didn't align it there we go guys there's a brief overview of the great Divi custom presets really fantastic feature can really speed up your web design so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day